I'm Anna Griffiths, I'm the Access and Interpretation Coordinator at the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust and I'm here in the gardens of New Place um, which is where stood uh, William Shakespeare's final home here in Stratford-upon-Avon and I'm looking at one of the sculptures in the gardens behind New Place um, which is part of a series inspired by Shakespeare's works and these sculptures are all by the sculptor Greg Wyatt. The one I'm looking at today is of the Winter's Tale and it, uh, it takes its inspiration from the final scene in the Winter's Tale where Leonte is presented with um, a statue of his wife Hermione who he believes to have been dead for the last 16 years and then before the eyes of him and the, uh, the audience uh, this statue comes to life. Now some people believe that, uh, that perhaps Hermione was never really dead and that this is just a, an illusion However, the idea of a sculpture sort of bursting into life and breaking free of its mould into reality must be quite an interesting one for, for any sculptor. Um, perhaps it presents uh, problems as well, a sort of pressure to make your sculpture look as realistic and as lifelike and almost as moving as possible. And I think this sculpture um, does this quite effectively. So we have this sort of Hermione figure in the middle with uh, this fantastic stance really, a chest sort of uh, propelling forward and her arms sort of flung back a little bit like she is sort of bursting into life, like she's about to sort of jump down before us. There's some wonderful detail as well around the back. As we can almost see sort of the veins running up her leg um, and parts of her limbs almost sort of exploding out, so almost as though you can imagine um, blood running through the very sculpture itself. Also on the back of the, uh, the statue we have um, an inscription of the part of the text uh, that this statue is inspired by um, from Act 5, Scene 3. Uh, and Paulina, who's presented this statue, even says, be stone no more as the statue comes to life. And I think it's quite interesting that this particular sculpture of Hermione isn't actually stone. It's made out of bronze, like all the statues in this garden. But the fact that this was once molten, um, I think, gives an extra sort of fluidity and movement to the piece and makes it um, seem even more lifelike and even more like it's, uh, it's moving. Uh, the final bit of text that I just wanted to point out uh, are the words of Leontes at that sort of moment when he realises that, uh, that this isn't a sculpture. Oh, she's warm, he says. So it's a really sort of touching moment when the statue becomes a real person. So um, if you want to see a sculpture like this one um, or any of the, uh, the other fantastic sculptures by Greg Wyatt, you need to come to New Place um, and Nash's house in Stratford-upon-Avon and, uh, and explore these fantastic gardens.